We are going to spend 24 hours on the island of Koh Samet here in Thailand. Let's see what we can do in one day. Well, the first thing we have to do is get some breakfast. And I'm starting to get a little hungry. Let's see what we can get here. So I'm looking at a menu right now from a, a vendor that's on the main road. You know, lots of uh, protein with rice dishes, starting off at 80 baht, which is about $2.50. Soda for breakfast. It's the drink of champions. I ended up ordering uh, two dishes. I ordered uh, fried pork over rice and I ordered a rice porridge soup with shrimp. That should be coming in a, in a moment. But this is the uh, fried crispy pork. It's a staple here in the area. And that's only about $2.50. That's really <laughs> big chunks of pork like that. It's all fried. It's not crispy pork, it's just fried pork. Um, I'm good. I put in this some spicy chili oil. Mm. Take a look at this. Cup on top. So this right here, that's the rice soup. It's actually not porridge. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just rice in a broth with shrimp, some basil leaves, and that's also 80 baht. Uh, this whole meal combined with the soda will run me about $6. That comes out to 190 baht for the whole meal. Now that we're finished with breakfast, there's a few places around here on the island that, actually several places, that have daily scooter rentals for 100 baht, which is $3. And we're gonna see if we could uh, drive around the island because I hear it's a great island for just motorbiking. I like this place right here. I guess we're gonna find a different place. That place there, uh, it was 100 baht, but 100 baht per hour. Uh, if I'm gonna rent the scooter for four or five hours, that's just way too much. Um, out of the island, the going rate is like 150 or 200 baht for the day. A tip to give you, anytime you rent a motor scooter, always record uh, the scooter. Check for damages, point them out, because even one scratch when you bring it back, they may try to hold you accountable for it. And now we're gonna go. This place is fantastic. Look at that color water right there. Out of every place I've been to in the country of Thailand, this location is the most gorgeous I've seen. I mean, the water is that light blue that we all want when we go to the beach, not that dirty brown that you find at lots of beaches. Boats just out there. Uh, people are swimming, families are, look at that. Someone's going to go parasailing. They have all of that here on Koh Samet. And this is just the first two miles of the island. And I'm gonna attempt to drive around the entire island. Let's see if I can make it in time. And there he is, our parasailing friend. But look at this. Look at that. A little tip. When you come off the pier to Koh Samet, you'll be bombarded with lots of hotels just right there, right as you get off, and maybe within like a quarter mile. I made the mistake of staying at one of those places because if you just go a mile down the road, there are hotels which are right on the sand, which are half the price of the ones that you'll find as you get off the pier. 
blows my mind. So right here, we're at the Silver Sand Resort. And they have their own little shop right here. They have their bar right there. I mean, this is a place I'd like to check out more if I had more time. Only 24 hours, you know. But uh, if you go straight down, I believe there's another resort pass there and there's like a little lookout area. You, if you look all the way right there, you can see it. But these waters are such a nice color. I'll tell you what, Koh Samet gives me Hawaii vibes. I love Hawaii. I was there for three days about a year and a half ago. And I want to go back. Oh, by the way, if you live in California, specifically Los Angeles, uh, round trip tickets to Hawaii are about $200. It's uh, tough to beat that price. Oh, let's go up this way and see what uh, this island holds for us. The Lost Resort. I think this is a, an abandoned resort or maybe closed down. It looks completely empty. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look it up when I get home. This is a scenic lookout area. And let's see if we can go down here and get a closer look. And there are big lizards, like that one right there. <laughs> you can always uh, oh, play it back and try to find them. Let's see, oh, see him right there. And let's get ready for this view right here. It's like it's untouched. This is Koh Samet. You have to check it out, it's very nice. I can't believe I was riding down the roads of Koh Samet and a bird shit on my face. I kid you not. This sucks. I, of course, had to uh, stop and clean myself off because I had that big glob of bird crap right here. <laughs> I've been shit on by birds before, on my head, on my shoulder, but never on my face. It's humiliating. As you ride your scooter around, you'll head over to the National Park office, Pakarang Beach. And they have a lookout area, which is straight ahead. We'll take a quick view and then we'll travel throughout the rest of the island. So far it's exciting, especially when you have that breeze hitting your face. And this is the view. I'm right here. You see someone kayaking right there. Don't know how they got there, but they're there. Very tropical, lush location here. Well, let's head back out. I just had to stop because I saw some feral puppies. Look at that. Wow. They're just scattering. Gee. Went down that way. Now we're gonna go up here. Well, we're over here and there's uh, some more stray dogs. But there's a reservoir on the island. There's a spot on the island called Al Pao. It's a resort. You cannot ride your scooter or motorcycle down there. You have to park it, like right there. And you have to walk down. It's about 200 meters and I hear that there's a fantastic beach there. So let's go check it out. Of course, no motorbikes, but then again, you, uh, see them and hear them and people ride them <laughs> talk about seclusion this place is amazing alpi resort They occupy this entire area and it's just, it's so secluded. 
if, if you're wanting to be around other bars and other people, this may not be the spot, but if you just want that alone time, which I want sometimes, this would be a perfect place to stay. I need to see how much the prices are here because uh, I may consider this in the future. There's kayaking there. People just... I see a crab on the beach right there. Well, let's just go back to the... Scooter. There's a songtail right there. They'll uh, take you to the pier if you want to go to the pier. This is all at Pra Bay, Thailand. That's the... This area right here with the water. For the past three hours, I have been riding around this island of Khao Samet. It's not the biggest island, but still, three hours and I still haven't explored everything, but I think I'm just about finished. So that's one thing you can do within 24 hours of arriving here in Khao Samet. And we're gonna check out some other places right here, like this spot. This is the Move On Tale Resort. It looks like it is abandoned. It's a ghost town. There's no one here. I have to blame this on COVID because this is on a prime piece of real estate. When I turn this camera around and you see the view that you get, you're gonna say, no way. This is all abandoned right here. There's another spot right there. I see someone sleeping in a hammock. You can probably see that too. Well, yeah, and that's, uh, I believe that's Rayong over there. Wow. Completely abandoned. But there is a menu right there. That's another thing I'm thinking about doing is checking out abandoned places. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched those YouTube channels where they go to like caves and abandoned homes and just stuff that has been abandoned. I mean, it's for me, it's absolutely fascinating. And uh, maybe I'll start doing that in the near future. We'll see. Now I think we're gonna head back into the uh, busy part of town and get some lunch. And then eventually after that, maybe have a few drinks and grab some dinner and maybe go to the beach. Just not in that order. What's the point of coming to this beautiful beach if you're not even going to go inside the water, which is a must. And uh, surprisingly, it's not cold. It's actually really, really nice. That's my hotel. Oh, I was in the water for probably a good 15, 20 minutes. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I used to live in Carlsbad, California. Literally the ocean was right there. And I think that in a 10 year period, I had went to the beach, actually went to the water maybe four or five times. So uh, it's fun getting in here because it is a vacation, but it's not something that I actively seek to do because I can go back to my parents home and it's right there. Well, this is very nice of the hotel. I didn't get any internet uh, in my stay today. And I called up, I said, hey, you know what's going on with the internet? It's like, well, it's down in your building. So they upgraded me to a new room. And let me show you this. It is by far a lot bigger. <laughs> This is the hotel that they uh, upgraded me to. Hotel room. <laughs> yeah, I like this a bit better. That's the sink. This is the bathroom and shower. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. It's right behind these cabanas, which are right next to the beach. Because of service like this, I think that if I do come back to Kosamut, uh, Kosamet, 
I will pick this place. Uh, that They went above and beyond uh, what they had to do. Thank you very much uh, for doing this. This is the Summit Grand View Resort. And now I'm gonna eat some dinner. And you might be asking, well, where's lunch? Well, that's the thing. I skipped lunch entirely. I just had breakfast. I wasn't hungry up until now, but I will be eating at this place. Chili Hotel and Restaurant. And I'll tell you why. They specialize in marijuana dishes. I am not kidding. They have it on the menu. Hopefully they didn't run out, but let's try it. So now we're about to walk inside and I say we're because I met some people who are living in Bangkok, <laughs> but they are from England and Germany and they're gonna be joining us today. Uh, introduce yourselves, please. Hi, Hello. I'm Paulina. And I'm Tati. I'm from London. I'm from Berlin. <laughs> that's good. So how do you like it so far here? We love it. We arrived today. That's, <laughs> that's great. Well, let's go have some food. This is their marijuana menu. <laughs> and every dish comes with some sort of marijuana. We just have to decide on what to get. But we're here. I'm going to try it all. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So all of this has, uh, it's marijuana? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, will we feel any difference? Oh, uh, well, we... just a uh, little bit. Like, it's, it's not like when you smoke, but it's like eating. Oh. So it's a small, like, yeah, feel a little bit, but not so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you try it first, and then I'll try it. <laughs> I mean, it smells like normal garlic bread. <laughs> I would imagine so. Is it good garlic bread? Yeah. Yeah. Let me try one here. So, marijuana, well, garlic bread topped with marijuana. No. Not. Garlic bread tastes good. This is marijuana infused tea with cannabis leaf right there. And now... Oh. Thank you. Kapuka. Marijuana chicken <laughs> in a coconut. Let's try this tea here. If one of you want to chew the leaf, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> see whether it kicks or not. Yeah, let's see the kick. <laughs> Oh, this looks so good. All of you know I love coconut soup. Kom ka gai. And I ordered it. I like it. You've tried this before, right? It's so good. Never Tell me how you like it. It might be ginger. I think it's ginger. That would be good, but that was not. It's mustard. But I love the broth on this. If you've never had coconut soup, you have to try it. And now we just got our last dish, uh, stir-fried beef with rice and marijuana. <laughs> this is why I came here. I saw this dish on the menu the other night. And this is raw shrimp wrapped in marijuana leaves. Wow, so I'm gonna try the shrimp right now. Look at that. It is wrapped with marijuana for your pleasure. And we're gonna dip into the sauce here and and give it a go. See how it tastes. Thoughts? Mm. It tastes just like shrimp wrapped in marijuana. Ah, that's it's pretty good. It, it, it is very spicy though. Yeah. It is it is, it is spicy. Our appetites are too big for our stomachs, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So there's still plenty of food left. Uh, this this is definitely uh, takeaway to go. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I hope you ladies really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for spending time with me. And that's one thing you can do here in Cosmet within 24 hours is make new friends and, and have great experiences. That entire meal was just a little bit over $50. Before I go back to my hotel, there's still a few uh, bars open, so I figured I'll just go ahead and have a drink at a local establishment, and this one looks pretty good to me. As I'm checking this place out even more, 
it is such a nice bar. This has that tiki feel like if you're in Hawaii. As a matter of fact, they have some great food right here. You got to take a look at this. Uh, these ladies are very kind and letting me shoot what they ate. Some really delicious fish, some rice, some Penang curry, which is really good. Uh, uh, so, you'll find them both on the island, and let's go take a look around the rest of the bar, and uh, we'll go from here, right? This is probably the nicest bar I've seen in all of Kos I met. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is uh, JJ, the owner from the Hi, Netherlands. JJ here. Way back to my hotel room, I figured I would stop by this other bar called Enjoy. I mean, just look at that atmosphere right there. And uh, let's go take a look. I like this place. I was here last night and uh, it was a bit busier. Right now it's more, it's more or less a very just relaxed, chill night. But the reason why I like this place is they have a pool table and not just one. In the back room over there, they have several. It's a big pool hall. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my uh, Leo beer. Maybe play one or two games of pool, and then possibly head back to my hotel room because I have to wake up at 7.30 in the morning. I just finished the uh, last of my Leo, and I guess we're gonna walk and go down. There's actually a bunch of people in the uh, pool hall. That's why it seemed empty right there, but no, it was actually pretty busy. Uh, what they told me is after 10, actually after nine o'clock, a lot of the locals tend to come here so it's a good place to just hang out and you know relax and get your drink. And I don't know. I, I'm wondering if I should eat some more. I'm feeling a. I'm a little hungry. I'm not sure if it's all that uh, marijuana lace food that I ate, but after having all those drinks, I kind of got the munchies and I ordered some more food. Just got some food uh, that was delivered right to my table. Of course, chicken wings. I love chicken wings right there. Thai style chicken wings. And on top of that, I got some uh, seafood with rice. And I have one other dish that's coming that I'm really excited for. And I want all of you to see what I have in store. I got my grilled river ponds. Look at that. Look at that. Late night, and you've had a few drinks, you just need to unwind, even though I ate a lot earlier. We have this right here, uh, as I showed you, but this is what I wanted to focus on. These are grilled river ponds. And um, I'm sorry, but John, but I, oh, God, I, um, I let my neighbors here at the next table have some, and I left the sauce there. But here, uh, that's it. Oh, that's so good. Mm, that, that's about 400 bucks, which is um, about what, twelve dollars for a half order. And I, I gave them a couple. This is tasty. Now I'm gonna try those chicken wings. I've been to Hooters. I've been to Buffalo Buffalo Wings. Wait, Buffalo Buff, Buffalo Wings. You guys know what I'm saying. These wings are probably the best wings that I've ever had. They're so crisp and tasty, and the meat is just juicy. Um, it comes with this little dipping sauce right here. I love the crispiness. This is so good. You guys should be here right now. Because I paid for dinner for all of you. I am just demolishing this meal here. I went ahead, I took all the shrimp out of the shell so it's just the meat. And then just dip it like that. Dude, this is so tasty. I can eat this all night long. This is at that place called the Rice and Soup of Koi Cement. It's right on the main strip, about a half mile away from the pier. You cannot miss it. So that's it for tonight. I just finished that amazing meal that cost less than $20 at uh, Rice Soup and Thai Food. I paid with a uh, QR code, so it's, a, it's like a little barcode that you scan. And then with that, you can go ahead and just transfer money from your bank account directly to the restaurant. It's so simple, so super easy. 
Anyway, it's back to the hotel room. If you uh, like this content, hit that like button. Please subscribe so you get all the updates as to when I post a new video. And please leave a comment. I don't care if you say I'm ugly or you hate me or another Thailand vlogger, go kill yourself. Whatever. Leave a comment. I will get back to you. And uh, let's see where I go next. Well, it's probably going to be Bangkok. Yeah, it's definitely Bangkok. I leave tomorrow early in the morning so I can get there and shoot another video. So, I'll see you guys later. And that's 24 hours in Koh Samet, Thailand. Bye.